I have this old ultrasonic cleaner. I got it used for 15 bucks because it was missing the knob, lid, and basket. Ultrasonic cleaners, as the name implies, clean using ultrasounds. You load your parts into a basin which is filled with a cleaning solution and the cleaner uses high frequency vibrations to form bubbles that cavitate on the part surface, blasting the dirt and grime off of the part. This is similar to the cavitations that mantis shrimp produce with their powerful hammers that they use to stun and attack their prey. As you would suspect, having a bunch of mantis shrimp punching your part thousands of times per second can be a quite effective cleaning solution. It is only effective, however, when the part is not resting on the bottom of the basin, as that can dampen the vibrations produced by the ultrasonic transducer. For this reason, a basket is very important. I attempted to print a basket out of PETG. I'm not sure if the shrimp punches would destroy it long term, but it seems Seems to be working fine right now. I also printed a control knob and these lid sections that are glued to a main piece of aluminum that I cut out and sanded and then clear coat. The lid is printed in two pieces because it did not fit on the print bed of the printer and is designed to mask the rough cut of the aluminum. This means that it looks fine from the top when it's assembled and resting on the ultrasonic cleaner. Now that that's finished, let's test the cleaner. clearly see from the part before and after cleaning, this works quite well. It isn't much of a surprise as I didn't make the cleaner and I just replaced some missing components that are mostly aesthetic, but it's still pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see future projects that I have in the works. It's free and you can always unsubscribe. See you next time.